When we make wines at Heritage Vineyards, we bring in fruit from August through November. So I get really busy when the weather is very, very nice out. And when I'm done, it's winter time, and it is cold, and it is dreary, and it is quite depressing. It's a time to reflect, a time to regroup, and uh, figure out what we can do better for the next season. We look forward to a new process, a new vintage, new weather, new hopes and dreams. It's an all entirely new beginning. My name is Sean Caminos, and I am the winemaker at Heritage Vineyards. The wine gig isn't all parties and drinking wine. It's definitely hard work, good honest work, but definitely gets tough. We spend a great deal of our time cleaning things. And in the winter, that means sometimes three feet of snow while you're cleaning things. And water freezes quite quickly at 10 degrees. The weather sort of dictates how we operate, how we do things. Sometimes you have to deal with the weather. It's so cold that you don't want to go out and you don't want to wash things or do things. You don't want to go out into the vineyard and prune. You can't really muster the energy to get up in the morning and go do that again. Well, I guess the biggest thing in the wintertime in the vineyards is actually the resetting of the vines. The vines go into reset mode to start for the next season. So we have to reset things. We have to get equipment together, put it back together, take soil samples, and get our compost out. It's just trimming. It's, it's the going out there and pruning and preening the vines to get the vines back on the path to production, preparing the ground for the coming season. And I'm putting a lot of paperwork together. I'm, I'm doing W-2s, lots of hey, ag well, Reports, payroll reports, water reports, ABC reports. It's endless. You almost have Depress. to, yeah, you have to learn how to relax again. Decelerate. Yeah. <laughs> the last major process in the wintertime is actually making sure that your red wines have gone through malolactic fermentation successfully. They're ready and stable in barrel. In the winter, the winery actually is a very, very quiet, solemn place. It's a, a time when you get to be really, really proud of what you've done. My name is John Levenberg. I'm a winemaking consultant. I've been working with Heritage for four years now. There are two things that make Heritage Vineyards unique. Uh, the first is Bill Heritage. He's been in the vineyard for 40 years. And, and, and he is the farmer in the farm to table connection. And it's something that I think anyone that appreciates the local food movement can, can see that, you know, hit the blood, sweat, and tears that go into the bottle. And that, that's, that's a fantastic thing. And you, you actually taste it. You know that these people have worked their hardest to produce this bottle. The second thing is, I think New Jersey is in a special place, climactically speaking. The question about soil, about terroir, coming back to an environment that has a lower degree day and subsequently allows us to make more complex wines, it is really rewarding as a winemaker and it's better for the consumer too because the wines are more balanced. One of the things that I think is really exceptional is that opportunity to appreciate the farm to table movement in a bottle and you're really tasting it here at Heritage Vineyards because it is literally 40 years in the vineyard translated into that bottle of wine and it's right here in New Jersey. The wine industry in the Mid-Atlantic area has evolved a great deal in the last 10 years. People now drink wine for pleasure, for love of it, rather than just as some sort of token of elitism. I am Keith Wallace. I'm the founder and executive director of the Wine School of Philadelphia and also the National Wine School in California. There's an intertwining moment right now where you have a receptive audience and a passionate winemaking community that are starting to roll in together. Nobody starts in the wine trade saying, you know what, I want to work 20 hour work days in the summer. The only people who work in this trade are people who are passionate about it. People who find something about wine that is more than just a beverage, something that drives them. One thing I can say about Sean Caminos is 
The he is one of the most intense people I know. One of the most focused people I know. It's tough on Sean too, just because he's been putting in the 12 hour days. We're gonna probably finish right around four and we'll probably start back at six and see what we can do. This is the man who's gonna do something really amazing. If he needs to spend 20 hours to get something done, he'll do it. If he has to get up in three hours, he'll do that too. He is completely a self-made man and nobody can take that away from him. It's a real challenge. And I think winemaking is a real challenge. It's a process. It's not for the faint of heart. Heritage is, has evolved, and there's no question. It's flowering, it's great, it's become, their wines have become more voluptuous. They have actually have the technical skills now that they did not have 10 years ago. It's gonna be nice to watch them for the next five years to 10 years, is watching this winery mature. They're raucous and they're fun and they're exciting right now. Now it's gonna be the interesting time when they start becoming not just good, but can become great. These are the biggest decisions that we make all year. We decide what goes with the Merlot and what goes with the Cab and, and the Syrah and how much Petit Verdot we need to spread around to get one more. So it's, it's huge. Big day. One of what the needs days a little year. more mouthfeel? What needs a little more tannin? What needs yeah. a little bit of finish? Um, the whole 2014 release of these 2012 wines depends on what we do today. Yep. The beauty of it is that we get to enjoy the fruits of our labor. I can't hold back no more. Well worth it. Every year is a new year, and every year is a chance to go back and do it just exactly perfect. Cheers. Well, it's time to go to work. In the end of the day, I drink for a living. You know, and I like that. That's all I really, that's gonna be on my tombstone. So most importantly, uh, what's your beer situation look like? We have zero. I'm getting you some beer. Good. The first major priority in the winter time for us here at Heritage Vineyards is planning our vacations. Okay. Vacation. So we, it's when we go on vacation, it's when it's over and we can actually- He was right on the money when, when he said vacation. We can actually get out of here for a few weeks and uh, go see the rest of what the world does. I spent seven years in the Virgin Islands and when it gets below 70 degrees, I get very, very, very upset with the world. I knew I should have wore pants for this. So we know wine before it's time, you know? <laughs> Everybody's done their job for the year. Everybody can pat themselves on the back. Everybody can go home proud.